In our previous video, we have seen the creation of a user from the Spring Boot application into the key cloak and also fetching the list of users from the key cloak using the Spring Boot application. In this video, we will try to implement the other operations as well, like updating a user or deleting a user, fetching a specific user and also the APIs on the roles. What we have done here is we have added the ID property as well in our user object so that fetching of the specific user and deletion will be easier. Apart from this, in the user resource, if you see earlier, we had only this list of users API and create a user API. In the get user method or fetching the specific user using this ID, what do we do is we will have the call until here similar to the previous calls but after this dot get of id will give you a pointer to the specific user and dot to representation will return the actual object of type user representation and then using this object we are just mapping the user our user to update a user put mapping this is similar to others as well till the users and dot get of specific user will give us a pointer for that specific user and dot update by sending the user representation will update the specific user deletion till dot users is same dot delete of id so only these things are important for us. The rest of the things are similar to a common implementation. And in the roles, we have implemented to fetch the list of roles. Here, keycloak.ream of ream name dot roles. In the users, we had dot users. Here, dot roles dot list will give us the list of roles. And if we want to fetch the specific role, that can be done using the role name and not the ID. So till here, it's same dot get role name will give you a pointer to that specific role. And to representation will return the object of type role representation for this specific role name. Creating a role is also similar till here dot create with this role representation. Basically what we are doing here is we are mapping the role representation for our role. If you see this role, it just contains ID and name, that's it. So what we are doing, fetching that specific role and creating a role representation with this role name. And for mapping, for this map roles, we have role representation list and this role representation list is converted to list of roles here again looping map a role from the role representation just get the name and id that's it so creation is similar to what we have seen just now and update is also till the roles dot get of role name will be similar to getting the pointer to that specific role dot update by passing the role representation will update the specific role and if you want to delete a role we have to use this role name itself as you can see till roles the call is same dot delete role here we do not have delete as in users but delete role with role name so this is the code change what we have done. Let's start the application and test this. The application is started. Let's open the swagger. And let me authorize. Our user was admin. Admin and authorize. You can see admin is logged in. Let's first go to the users. We have already seen the creation and the list 
let me open the application as well key cloak so we have this users let me create a new user now let's create a demo user if you see we do not have any user here with the name demo and a demo user is created now if you fetch the list of users we will find demo user here using this id I can fetch the user, this specific user. There you go. And if I want to update the user, the same user, let me fetch it from here. Update users save and if you see oh we did not see here demo user is created demo and users because updation has taken place so and if i want to delete this user i will just call this delete with the id and deletion is done the demo user is no more here similarly let's check one or two operations on the role and then we'll see a generic understanding for the calls here we have roles the list of roles As you can see, these are the roles which are defined here. Ream roles, all of these. And so if I want to create a new role, just name is enough. I'm going to give the name as new role. And new role, it is not over here. Let me create and new role is created now if i want to fetch this by name there you go and if i want to delete let's delete it oh i think there is something missing here is the role Role name. This is the mistake. Role name. Let me restart. Reload. Now you will see the role name. And our role was new role. Authorization. Authorize and new role there you go so earlier the new role was there now it's not there so here we have seen the crud operations that can be performed from the spring boot application so that we can make the uh, changes in the key cloak application for users and roles let's see in our next video how can we generalize the calls for the key cloak operations from the Spring Boot applications? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.